Welcome to Ring Theory. In this video, I'll be summarising my quickfire 25 most common misconceptions of The Lord of the Rings. Let's get into it. Number 1. Saruman and Sauron were working together. In essence, this is true, but Saruman was pretending to work with Sauron as he wanted the One Ring for himself. Number 2. The Eagles can always save the day. This isn't true, they are not a taxi service on Gandalf's speed dial, they are their own independent beings who can think and talk. Number 3. Sauron is a huge flaming eye in the Third Age. This is wrong. He was actually in physical form, just mainly off screen. Number 4. The Dwarves didn't want to aid Rohan and Gondor. This isn't true. They are not ignoring any request for help, they were fighting their own battle against the forces of Sauron in Erebor. Number 5. Frodo leaves the Shire quickly after getting the ring. Frodo actually takes 17 long years to leave the Shire, whilst Gandalf gathers information and searches with Aragorn for Gollum. Number 6. The Shire is isolated and cut off from the wider world. The inhabitants of the Shire were in fact nowhere near as isolated as they thought, as Gandalf instructs Aragorn and the Dúnedain to patrol the Shire's borders. Number 7. Middle-earth is a planet. I think the confusion here is because Earth is in the phrase Middle-earth, but Middle-earth is actually a continent on Arda, Tolkien's created planet. Number 8. The Witch King was killed by Eowyn. Technically, this is true, as she struck the final blow, but the important strike, not explained in the films very well, was Merry, who stabbed him with a blade of Westerness, lowering his defences. Number 9. Galadriel is all good. Undoubtedly, Galadriel had her demons. Her main motivation across the ages of Middle-earth was power. She desperately wanted to rule her own kingdom and went on to found Lothlorien with her husband, Celeborn. Number 10. Elrond half-elven was half-elven. This is true in the sense of his parents and his ancestry, but after being given the choice to be a mortal man or an elf, his brother chose to be a man, he chose to be an elf. After that choice, he was undoubtedly 100% an elf. Number 11. Goblins are smaller than orcs. This just isn't true. Goblins and orcs are actually the same thing and used synonymously in Tolkien's writings. Number 12. Sauron forged all of the Rings of Power. Actually, the three elven rings were forged in secret by Celebrimbor, using the knowledge he gained from Sauron appearing as Anatar. Number 13. Balrogs are huge monsters with wings. They do not have wings and interestingly are not huge in stature. Number 14. Peter Jackson made the first Lord of the Rings films. This isn't true. In 1978, Ralph Bakshi made the first on-screen adaption. It's not quite up to the same quality, but well worth watching. Frodo and Bilbo will live forever after going to the Undying Lands. People believe this in the main because it's called the Undying Lands. But it's called that because it's the heavenly-like paradise where the immortal beings dwell. Due to their sacrifice in the Third Age, they are granted passage to live the rest of their mortal days in blissful paradise. Number 16. The Grey Havens is in Rivendell. People assume this as the elves are leaving and the scenery in the film looks elvish. It looks elvish because it's in the elven capital of Linden. Number 17. Sauron wanted the ring as soon as possible. Sauron's mentality was actually not to look at it like this. The biggest mistake he made was not thinking that anyone would try to destroy it. He assumed such a powerful object would be coveted by many and that they would try to wield it or hide it. As a Maya, being around for several ages, he looked at time differently and was quite relaxed about finding it assuming it'd just be a matter of time before it was found and brought to him. Number 18. Denethor was just an evil idiot. This isn't entirely true. 
who was actually driven mad by using the Palantir in Gondor, while searching for a way to defeat Sauron. Number 19. Elves are all perfect. This is because they are a bit overpowered in the films. If you read the Silmarillion, you will find many evil deeds by elves who spent years slaying each other for the Silmarils. Number 20. J.R.R. Tolkien was just an author. This is greatly underestimating his talent. He was a professor, a scholar of the English language, creating many languages for his writings. On top of that, he also wrote countless songs and poems that were included in his books. Number 21. Fell beasts are a type of dragon. This isn't true. Whilst their exact origin is unknown, these winged creatures were likely a creation of Morgoth and had claws and a beak, similar to birds, but obviously far greater in size than any other in Middle-earth. Number 22. Urukai are huge. In the books, they are not so big. They are described to be almost man-size, so bigger than orcs, but not the huge intimidating figures we see in the films. Number 23. Sauron was the most evil character in Tolkien's writings. I would wager this isn't true, as Morgoth, the original Dark Lord, was much, much worse, causing many more deaths, and as a Valar, was of greater power. Number 24. Pipeweed is marijuana. This isn't true. As much fun as it is to imagine Bilbo and Gandalf chilling, smoking weed in the Shire, that may also explain the fireworks that they see, it's more like traditional tobacco. Number 25. Isildur failed everyone. Yes, he kept the ring, but he was actually on his way to Rivendell to decide what to do with it with Elrond when he was slain and it was lost. A misredemption. To end the video, how many of these misconceptions were you aware of? Can you think of any I've missed? Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching Ring Theory. On this channel, I'll be focusing on anything and everything to do with The Lord of the Rings. Tolkien lore from the books, the original trilogy, and the new TV show. If you liked the video and want to hear more, please drop me a like and hit the subscribe button below.